Hey guys, so today I'm going to show how to uh, convert your project over to Universal Render Pipeline if you're working with a 2D game in Unity. So what you want to do is inside your Unity uh, project, go to Window, uh, you want to go to Package Manager, and then make sure you are under the Unity registry right here, and you'll scroll down and find Universal RP. So that's the same thing, kind of a mouthful, weird way of pronouncing it. But go ahead, click Install. And once it installs, I will then show you how to get your project set up in order to use it. Okay, so once you already have that installed, um, it's not as simple as just installing that. You have to actually do create, and then you're going to want to find your, um, let's see, where is it? Rendering, universal render pipeline, pipeline asset. So you're gonna need a pipeline asset, which will end up creating two files. Now. In order to use this for a 2D game, there's another step. So you are actually going to need to do create, again, go to rendering, URP, 2D renderer, so then you will have your 2D renderer. Then go back to your main pipeline asset. Um, you can actually delete that one. Drag that in there. And then, even once you have that, um, you're now able to add in, or should be able to, 2D. Uh, you will also have to go to your project settings and then in rendering, add in your asset there as well. Um, and you will have to do it for every single level, but just because um, the default is gonna be high and then I'm gonna have the uh, asset on high, this is just a blank uh, test project for this tutorial, so I'm not gonna really worry too much about that then you should be able to add in your 2D lights. But you'll see, nothing happens. Now, the reason for that, um, it's kind of stupid. What you're gonna to wanna to do is create a new material, call it 2D light material, okay? Um, this new material will have the universal render pipeline 2D sprite lit default. So then you will just have to drag that onto all the assets. If you have a prefab, then it's much easier um, because these assets, because they were made before you added in the 2D render or the uh, universal render pipeline, it's not going to update these materials. I believe there is a way to kind of update the materials, but in case that doesn't work, there is a manual way that's pretty easy to do. So then, now this should work. global light, and then boom, we're back to how it looks. Now we have a cool light that we can then manage and adjust, and it's that simple. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next one.